Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are jumping right in today. This is a full meal deal type video. I had all kinds of random things to accomplish on this day, so I thought I would just film it all, throw it all together in a motivating yet relaxing video. My husband Brad's family was in town for a long weekend and we had an absolute blast. We celebrated two birthday parties, we ate all kinds of good food, we cooked a lot of meals, we had meals for takeout, we played on the water, we had so much fun. Today I'm just trying to kind of regroup from all of that fun and get everything squared away, back in its place, tidied up. In this video I'm going to be doing laundry, dishes, like I said I'll be tidying up some. I'm deconstructing the birthday party, celebration <laughs> decorations, and then I had some random projects that I needed to do like organizing a lot of extra breast milk that I had because I'm donating it to a local mom. Also I had a drawer that I needed to organize and kind of declutter because it's a drawer that Eloise goes to frequently so I just needed to get a lot of the choking hazards out of it so that she can play with that drawer. We ended up with three giant watermelons for the weekend with family and we only got through maybe half of one. So I just needed to get all this watermelon cut up and ready to eat or else I find that if I don't have it cut up and ready to go, it just won't get eaten. So that was on my list of random things to do was just to get this watermelon ready to eat. Any products I use like this watermelon cutter, I will try to remember to link in the description box below. This thing is really inexpensive and it's a total game changer when it comes to cutting up your watermelon. If you have any kitchen utensils that you feel like maybe not everybody knows about, drop a comment below and let us know what we are missing out on that you use all the time and find really handy. So right off the heels of World Breastfeeding Week, I found that I'm not going to be using all of this extra breast milk. I actually breastfed my twins for 13 months before I found out I was pregnant with my youngest daughter, Eloise. And then I was breastfeeding her and I found that my supply was just way out of control, especially in the beginning. So I ended up with a lot of extra breast milk that I realized I'm just not gonna be using. However, I didn't exactly realize that I was going to be donating it. Otherwise, I would have labeled the bags a little bit better. As you can see, I just really put the date and how many ounces were in it and not like the time it was collected. Um, so I just didn't have as much information on the bag as I would have if I knew I was donating it to somebody. However, I found somebody that needed breast milk. She's exclusively feeding her baby breast milk that is all donated and so I was able to gather up 245 ounces to donate to her. So she was picking it up later this afternoon so I needed to go ahead and get it organized by date. And then I also labeled the milk that is dairy free from when I discontinued eating dairy for my daughter's milk allergy just in case she ends up not using it and can pass it on to another mom that needs dairy free milk. I will admit this was sort of an emotional process. I don't know why I feel like I have an emotional attachment to this milk, but I do. And so I made sure to document everything. I took pictures of the milk. I obviously have video footage of what milk I was able to come up with to donate. And I don't know, as I, as I kept going with the project, it got a little bit less emotional because I was excited to be providing this milk for another baby. But at the same time, it's just hard to let go of your own milk. I don't know what it is about it.
so one of my major priorities for the day was to get rid of all of these balloons. I am kind of particular about what, what things I have around my, not only my toddlers, but my baby. And balloons are just one of those things that I'm scared of. I just don't want them to like bite it and have a piece fly into their mouth and then them choke on it. So I needed to get these balloons out of their ASAP. Up until this point, they were attached to a balloon arch, which I'm a huge fan of. If you follow our vlogging channel, you will see the balloon arch there. Um, and this is that's what I'm deconstructing right now. But it, it's extremely user friendly. It's really easy to use. And I had a blast putting it together. And I actually weirdly enjoyed taking it apart and deconstructing all the balloons. And when I was done with that, it was time to move on to my first load of laundry. There's a new day to wash away the pain. So funny story, I'm usually the one that cleans the toilets in our house, and so I have my gloves that I use when I clean them, but the time before Brad's parents came, he cleaned the toilets and used my gloves. Well, when he took them off, he didn't turn the fingers back right side out, so they were all inside out. <laughs> and in an attempt to get them out, I shook it really hard and made this mark on my leg, which is still there two days later. Raise your hand if you've ever vacuumed with a baby on your hip. This wasn't originally on my list of things to do today, although it should have been because it turns out the floor was a mess, but I was just quickly going over the floor because Eloise is crawling all over the place and she is a lot like her mother in the sense that she's what we call a crumb cruncher. Anything she comes across, she will put in her mouth and try to eat. So I really needed to get the floors tidied up because I just, I never know what she's gonna put in her mouth next. I am absolutely loving my new laundry room system. This was a quarantine project where I just created a way to store laundry in our fairly small laundry room by category. So right now I'm doing a load of all microfiber. 
So like I said, we had all kinds of different foods while Brad's family was here. So I really needed to go through the refrigerator and pull out things that were maybe past their date and try, try to organize some of the, the leftover food that we had so we could go ahead and get it eaten, freeze things that we're definitely not gonna get to soon and just kind of get the refrigerator organized. We do have a nanny that comes twice a week and watches our kids while we work. So I really try to stay on top of the refrigerator and not leave food in there that might be past its date so it doesn't accidentally get fed to our kids. load of laundry number 1001 for the day is our cloth diapers. I was going to film folding them but I went to bed early and my amazing husband actually folded all the diapers for me so you won't see that but I just wanted to brag on him a little bit. And so my last project for this video is just going through this drawer. This is the drawer that Eloise gravitates towards and so I think what I'm going to do is just remove all of the random plastic bags and packages in there that we recycle. Take all those out, take them to the recycling and then put some things that Eloise can play with in this drawer so that hopefully we won't have to baby proof all the drawers. She'll just come to this drawer and not try to be constantly opening up all the other cabinets and drawers. In my head, that's how it's going to go anyway. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope this brought you some motivation to go clean and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up button and we will see you next week.